In this video, we're going to look at the Google Meeting integration with Google Classroom. Google has added a lot of features to Google Meet to help address student security, safety, and classroom management issues that they've had with Google Meeting in the past. Specifically, if you create a link within Google Classroom to a Google Meet, students will not be able to fully join the meeting unless somebody who is a host starts the meeting first. So who's a host? A host is going to be you as a teacher, but also anyone that you've identified as a co-teacher will be a host within your Google Classroom meeting. So from the stream, on the left hand side you're going to see a widget that says generate link click that button and classroom will create the initial classroom meet link so from here you can click on save and now students are going to be able to join using that link but i'm going to show you some really handy features to create multiple google meet links within your classroom so why would you want to create multiple google meet links if you have like art teachers or music teachers who want to be able to work with your students or if you have special education co-teachers you can add them as co-teachers under your people tab and then they're able to act as host for your meeting so whenever students go to those meeting links they'll have to have either you or one of your co-teachers there before the meeting can get started we can create multiple meetings for your classroom so from here if I click on the ellipses menu and click copy link I'm gonna copy that link to my clipboard then I'm gonna go to my classwork tab I'm gonna create a section on my classwork tab that has all of my meeting links organized so here I'm gonna create a new topic I'm gonna call it meeting links and click add now I'm going to add that meeting link as my main meeting link so I'll click create click material I'll call this the main meeting link then under attachments, I'm going to right click, select paste, and then click add link. Then under topic, I'm going to select meeting links. Click post to save, and here I'll have my main meeting link that all students can see. Now I'll return to the stream. Under the ellipses menu, I'm going to change the meeting link to generate a new one. Click the ellipses menu, select manage, and then under this drop down, select reset. Then confirm you want to reset the link. I'm going to go back to manage, and you'll see that we have a new link. The old link is still valid, but now we have an additional link that's tied to this Google Classroom. I'm going to click the drop down and click copy, and then click done. Return to my classwork tab, and now I can add another link. So here I'm going to click create material and we're going to use this one for specials and repeat the process to add the link as an attachment organize it under the meeting links topic and click post so now students have two separate meeting links that they can use one for specials one for the main link drag them to order them as I want to additionally you can create special links for students for a particular project so I'm gonna go back to stream again I'm gonna repeat this manage reset confirm now I'll have a new link. I'll click the ellipses menu to copy the link again. But this time, when I go to the classwork tab, I'm going to create this as a resource. But this time, when I save the resource, I can select which students I want to receive it. So suppose I have separate project teams. I can give this material a title, give it this special link, click add link, organize it under the meeting links topic. Instead of posting this assignment to the entire class, I can choose one or more students to receive this material. When I post this assignment, only the selected student will receive this in their stream or in their classwork tab. So when I click post, this is added to the meeting link section, but because I only assigned it to one student, that student will receive it instead of the entire class. In this way, you can assign them separate project links and allow them their own separate workspaces to to collaborate. By default, Google Meet will not allow students to join without a host being present. But suppose you want this project team to collaborate without a host being there. You want them to be able to work together independently. You can manage that in the host controls of the Google Meet session. As one of the hosts, I can visit this meeting join the meeting as a host. While in the meeting, in the bottom right hand corner, there is a link for host controls. I can open up this panel, scroll to the bottom. At the bottom, I'll find quick access. It's turned off by default, but by enabling this option, students will be able to join this meeting without having to have a host present. Back in the stream tab, I have one more suggestion for you. If this little meeting widget is visible to all students, that might be confusing because you have all of your meet links organized on your classwork tab. Instead, click the ellipses menu and select manage, and then toggle this visible to students to off and then click done, that'll ensure that this meeting widget is only visible to you and not students and will require students to visit the classwork tab in order to find their meeting links. I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can use the meeting links in your Google Classroom and perhaps create multiple links. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.